was a great day yesterday and today maybe the same so I hope for Hilde she will beat the French girl. Yeah, you said it, uh, Hilde Drexler. Uh, she's fighting in the semi-final now against uh, uh, Ekbenegnu uh, Paris from France and it's the semi-final. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we will see. I will be anxious about it and uh, of course the coach will be there too. <laughs> Udo Klemmers is here to support her. Yes, we are happy he is back. <laughs> because he had some troubles with his passport um, but yesterday Hilde coached me and in the final block Lupo was my coach so we had no problems we found the right tactic and today Udo is back and I hope they will both do the best yeah I hope so too so I think there will be just a few minutes um, before they start with the first semi-final in 63 the second semi-final in 63 will be Chinese Su Jua against the Spanish uh, Aguirre de Juan. So we will be anxious about that fight and uh, then we will follow with the men under 73. But until there, there's still a little bit of time. And when I look to the crowd, there's still a, a few more people than the morning. Uh, and I also spoke to Sheldon and we thought maybe it is a little bit hard when you start to fight in the morning, there's nobody in the hall. What, what a feeling is that for a Grand Prix? Um, yeah, I, I think I didn't realize because I was so focused on the competition. So I didn't realize if there is yes. much crowd or less crowd. But uh, during the final block there was a, a good atmosphere. They, they had some really nice music. So. I didn't have to push myself, it was it the right atmosphere to fight the final and I think that's the perfect. right the right uh, preparation for yeah. the final. That's perfect uh, because also that you had the concentration from the first from the beginning of the competition. Uh, also there weren't so many people to support you or yeah. so and also we are a small team so we just had one or two persons which shouted yes. to us and uh, tried to push yeah. ourselves. But um, yeah. so when there is no crowd, two people are shouting, you can hear That's them. Enough. That's, That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> they give you advices and then everything yes. is fine. I wondered one thing uh, between when between two fights, one fight end and the next begin, there's always a long break and um, that the new fighters come in. How was it in your situation? The people before, the two player before you, they uh, this the fight ended and you had to wait until they were um, away from the mat. How was it? Because there was always a little break, you know, yeah, between the fights. Yeah, but it was no problem. I think it was really a good uh, thing, but I didn't realize it. Yeah, but it was all planned. There was no stress or they no looked stress. for They for were some really, really nice and relaxed. Everybody yeah. knew what to do and they gave you the advice and then you have to had to go inside. So yeah. I think if that you if it you was are perfect relaxed, for the competitors. Perfect, yeah. Very nice. And I also saw a lot of uh, judo players who had um, had an had another judo gi. Yeah. yeah so what was the problem? Strict, Do you know that? Very strict because we all had the the sign of the world championships. So there had been two different kinds of sponsor. Ah, that was the problem. And we had to ah, take okay. all of it off because mm -hmm. our names and the country names and the sponsor was on one plate. Yeah, ah, okay, that was the reason. We were wondering. So now we're gonna watch the first semi final of the day. Here the competitors come. This is Drexler from Austria, and she has to fight against Egg Begnenu from France. The first semi final now under 63 kilograms. The young French girl, she was a uh, French champion last week and beat Eman in the final. Okay. So she is really very strong and ve very aggressive. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So Not we will see. Fight. Yeah. <laughs> but Hilde is very motivated. She had some very good results in the last few weeks. Mm -hmm. She won uh, the Swedish Open and the Finnish Open. So now that she is in good shape and I. That's Hope good. she can do well. Yeah, and that uh, also gives her confidence. Yeah, yes. for the it was very for competition like necessary this. Necessary for her. Yeah. So 
Oh, Hilda is going to fight in left-handed. Uh, sorry, right-handed. Yes. And the French girl left. Yeah. So does she have a special tactic or against her or what did Udo say said to her? Do you know I that? I think she should be um, very aggressive in the in the gripping, mm -hmm. so she can uh, have a strong right-handed grip mm -hmm. against her left grip because mm -hmm. now you can see she has really a lot of power for her age. Yes, and she wants to move her to her to her own side, mm -hmm. not, not to step out of the mat. Yeah. Grip is the most important. Yes. Otherwise. And of course, the mm. French girl will be very tactical. Yeah. Prepared. Like all French girls. Yeah. I like all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the French co coaches are very clever. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. And uh, Hilda is very tall for her mm -hmm. category. Huh? So now she gets the first, yeah, the first warning in the fight. Yeah, and you but can just see the, the French warning. girl is always breaking the, breaking the grip mm -hmm. from inside. Yeah, and grip around the, the arm of Hilda. Yeah. I don't know. She must be careful in Nevasa. But yeah, uh, Hilda is very strong in Nevasa. Yeah. So she also likes it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she also likes it. You're, you're right. <laughs> oh, Usugabe Haragoshi. Yeah. Strong. Yeah. Now she tries to take her into the mat. <laughs> But you're also very, very tall for your category, yeah, aren't you? <laughs> I, s I think uh, some of the Austrian girls are taller than other ones, like Claudia Heil. Yeah, she the was same. She's really <laughs> very tall. Hilde is very tall. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Claudia, very tall for 63. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you think that it's, it's a good thing when you're tall? Or what, what do you think? Uh, for me, it's a good thing because uh, I'm used to it, but uh, otherwise, yeah. the it's small okay. and explosive, powerful women, mm -hmm. they have... Can be dangerous. Yeah, they have much more to put inside and mm -hmm. to go underneath you, mm -hmm. your hip. So it's always dangerous for yes. me to fight the small yeah. girls. And you see, Hilda must use their, their tall, her, her, their her size. Head, yes. yeah. Because try to be upright. If you, if you, her head breaks and she is too low with the upper yes. body, bent over, yeah. It looks bad. Oh, Sumika Eshi. Nice. Yeah. Nice Sumika Eshi attempt. So there's still no score. Somebody to tried to explain me the French girl is very aggressive in the Tachibasa but has no clue in Nevasa. But then I saw against Wille mm -hmm. she did Ippon in the last second, so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure the, yeah. French girl, uh, the French girl knows what to do. Yeah, she's not so bad in Iwasa. And she's flexible. Yeah. I saw it. She's flexible in each direction, mm -hmm. so she can escape. That yes, that makes her more dangerous. Mm -hmm. Not the best posture. No. But it's also not easy when your opponent wants have you, you know, and push you, and then it's that's not easy to to upright again. Oh, Jim! Oh, nice. Oh, was nice. Yes. Be Yuko. Yeah. Nice I also thought maybe Yuko, but they didn't give. But today in Hilda's first fight, it was. A little bit the same against the Azerbaijan, Azerbaijanian. 
Yes. She had no good grip, but she did uh, one reaction to a counter technique and threw Ippon. So mm -hmm. maybe she can surprise the French girl yeah. once more. <laughs> Would be nice. <laughs> Would be nice. We just saw uh, some kind of counter from the French girl. For a counter for uh, Uchimata. There she must be careful. Oh, Moro Tsionaga. Yeah, she's a good counter technique. Mm -hmm. She's good in counter techniques also. Yeah, and there you saw Hilde lost his grip. Uh, lost her grip and uh, couldn't control her anymore, and then maybe Flexi it was much more easily. Move from yeah. The French girl and yeah. Could be dangerous. Have you also been here last year at the Grand Prix? Yes. Yeah, I remember. But I fought 63. Yes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did the third place in 63. Yeah, th you had the third place. I remember that. Yeah, but it was 63. <laughs> I lost against a man. Oh, <laughs> I know. Okay. <laughs> I remember very well because oh oh. that's what about good counter techniques. It was really a good Uranage. Uh. Good for the French, but bad for, for Hilde Trexler. And they gave Ratsari for that. Now she tries yeah, to she get the leg really free. Yeah, she's really explosive for <sighs> her age. It's amazing. Yeah. I really find it remembers that. me a little bit of uh, Loco, the yeah. French girl. Yeah, also, the a very move. good uh, Uranage. She can grip inside and outside and throw yeah. with the hip. Try of Sumiga Eshi. Yeah, 16 seconds left. Just try and try again. Yeah, but she's good in escaping. Yes. <laughs> Last action now. Wow. Unfortunately for Hilde Trexler, but yeah. A nice Uranage from the French, so Very strong. she will be in the final. Mm -hmm. And yeah, but anyway, Hilde Trexler. Third place. Uh, third place, the bronze her, medal. Her first Grand Prix medal, so okay. I think she will be very happy. Yes, I think so too. To <laughs> give her more confidence to fight the next few tournaments. Mm. And yeah. Is she going to Tokyo or to Qingdao? No, no, she will not compete, but uh, I think she will be back next year. Next year. And fight the, the new World yeah. Cups. So together with you. Okay, so thanks for being here, for Thank joining me for the fight, and good luck for your next competition. Good luck to you. Yeah? Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. It was the feet. We can't see the feet of Drexler were moving so quickly across the tatami. And when um, Agbegnin, who took control of the top half, there was only one result there. Nice movement from the French girl. And a good start to the um, afternoon session here in the Adnec Exhibition Convention Center in Abu Dhabi. One down. And now... Here are the next two.